We're looking today at Philippians chapter 2 again. The anointed mind of Christ that God's given to us. Now, we said last time that the enemy of your soul hates unity. He hates you. He wants to isolate you so that he can keep you apart, divided from everyone else so he can gang up on you. But I want you to remember that it always is more with you than is against you. And besides that, the Bible says that two are better than one. One can chase a thousand and two can chase ten thousand away. So instead of using all your energy to separate ourselves from the pack, and most men try to do, try to distinguish ourselves, try to stand out from the rest, try to do all these individual things, the Bible tells us that we should use our energy and every spiritual gift to press into the pack. We're a part of a great team. We're a part of the body of Christ. And God has ordained it that we would flow together in unity and see some powerful things happen. Now in verse 3 of Philippians chapter 2, it talks about that whenever you see something going on, whatever you do in life, don't do it with a selfish motive. That will cause strife around you. It says, whatever you do in your life, let nothing be done through self ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, each esteem others better than yourself. Now that's a novel idea, right? Because most men, we're trying to think of ourselves. If no one's going to do it for us, we've got to do it ourselves. It's a whole different mindset. But I want you to understand this. What God wants us to do is to look on the other's interest and what's going on in their lives. Not to be selfish, but to be Christ-like is to be selfless, not selfish. To be Christ-like is to have an attitude of humility all right humility is powerful faith and humility are powerhouse twins when they work together and you walk in faith and you're humble before God get ready for some great things to happen in your life because God has promised that he's going to show up in a big way in your life so we've got to remember let's be humble before the Lord we're going to talk about that in the next time talk about the humility before the Lord God bless you